What's up guys, it's Feta from 3D Print SOS. As you can see behind me, I got my rack all done, all my printers are on it, everything's in one place, I'm really excited about it. All I gotta do is figure out the filament storage for underneath and then it's gonna be, ah, really happy with it. I've been printing some really long prints on the Quilla 3D printer behind me and it's actually developed a fan noise at the hot end and it's getting pretty loud, so it's time to uh, fix that. We're gonna do that by installing one of these Winson 24 uh, volt RGB fans. Nice little guy, it's really thin, it's only got two wires and it should be a really easy fix. Should be a direct replacement on this printer. So let's go ahead and take some things apart. But before, here's what it sounds like. Yeah, that's uh, really annoying. So let's go ahead and fix that. In case one of you guys has the same issue, I'll show you how to do it. All right, let's go ahead. All right, guys, I went ahead and pulled the printer out of the enclosure and put it up top here so it's easy to see, easy to work on. You're going to need a couple things. Um, the fan has a female connector on it. It is a little bulky. Uh, so what I like to do is I like these um, Arduino or breadboard wires that come in a big, uh, really colorful um, ribbon cables. I peel two off, uh, I have a male and female. We're going to need uh, the male wires to uh, be attached to the current wiring that's on the printer. And we're gonna put these the female set onto the actual fan. So we're gonna have a nice little connector uh, inside of that loom that we can always use um, to uh, make uh, adjustments or quick connect. As you can see, they're really, um, they're really easy to conceal. So that's why I really like these wires. We're going to need some uh, uh, some heat shrink. Uh, I have a soldering iron off uh, off the camera there. I have a little zip tie. We're gonna need it to put this uh, cable loom back to how it is. And we have some uh, wire strippers, uh, wire cutters. Uh, I went ahead and covered the glass. I don't want anything falling on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and film me doing this. Uh, I'll do the full swap and then I'll come back and talk to you guys again. Um, I'm gonna speed it up uh, so that uh, this doesn't take too long. Uh, and I'll go ahead and explain afterwards exactly what I did. Then we'll do a before and after again so you can hear the difference between this fan and the stock fan. And I'll go ahead and put it back in its enclosure and uh, show it off a bit to you guys. So I'll catch you on the other side. Let's go. All right guys, there it is. You guys heard the before and afters. The difference is significant. Uh, the fan looks really cool with the RGB, I gotta say. It looks really cool in that stock uh, little housing. One of the best parts about it is that when you buy one, it actually comes in a package of four. So if you're like me and you have other printers uh, or you have other projects like Raspberry Pis and so on and so forth, you can always get this and have other fill, uh, fans. There's no extra wiring. 
It took me about 15 minutes total, even with filming, to do the job. You basically splice into the existing wire, add your connectors, solder them, uh, do a little bit of uh, heat shrink tubing, pop the fan on. It's really easy. Uh, don't be intimidated. Uh, you know, you can you, you can do this. Believe me, it's it's pretty simple with basic tools. Uh, it would take you maybe 20 minutes if you've never done it before, maybe 30 if you're going really slow. So highly encourage you if you guys don't like how loud this fan is, obviously it's significantly quieter. If you guys want truly silent, you can always go knock to a fans. Uh, they are uh, a bit more expensive. These are probably a quarter of the cost, especially because of the four pack. Um, another thing about the knock to a fans is uh, they go up, they go down to 12 volts. Uh, so you do have to have a converter going from the wiring to step down um, the connection from 24 to 12. So it is a little bit more hassle um, to get it to run a Noctua fan, but I have, a, I have a printer above this one, the orange one, that, that has full Noctua fans and it is completely and utterly silent. This one you, can, you might be able to even hear on the mic um, right here that it is, there is some sound, but as you heard, the difference is just not even comparable. So I'm, I'm really happy with the, with the fans. Uh, definitely suggest them, especially because of the bulk. Huge shout out to my buddy Jess. Uh, thank you for recommending these fans. Uh, he's had them uh, running on his Aquila for a while now. Um, he's doing some, some big, long, awesome prints on that thing. Uh, really impressive. Thanks, buddy, for the recommendation. I appreciate it. Hey, if you guys found this useful, share the video. Give it a thumbs up if you appreciate it. And if you guys have any questions, I'll see you down in the comments. See you later.